The question to ask is not whether or not we have a liturgy, but what kind of liturgy do we have? And how is it forming us? And how is it shaping us? How is the creative work that we're doing as part of God's church shaping God's people into who they are? We can err on all kinds of directions on this. We can be too heady. We can be too emotive. And in both of those cases, we fail to engage the whole person. We can end up having services centered on the, the sermon and the pastor in such a way that everything that comes before a sermon is just an appetizer and the main meal is the sermon and the main hero of the service is the pastor who's got the secret knowledge that knows it and brings it. And we wonder why we end up with a culture of celebrity around pastors when we elevate the sermons in these ways. We can create services that are so much about hype that people think that the Christian life is supposed to be this elevated, adrenaline-driven experience, something Bart Simpson once described as lights, smoke, and Tybo. <laughs> I think we should ask in every case, we should look at the things that we're doing, whether we're worship leaders, whether we're pastors, whether we're members of our church, we should ask, what are the formative practices of my congregation? What are we teaching people to love? What are we teaching people to trust in? What kind of hope are we giving people? Are we immersing them in the story of the gospel or are we giving them other heroes and other stories to get excited about?